<laughs> Hi, Scottish Mud Lacking here with Nicole and Craig. We've come along to South Queen's Ferry. Now we know that on that side of the pier there's some of the best sea glass in Scotland. But what about this side of the pier? We're gonna check out this site and see if it's any good but before we get started we've got a massive easter sale on our etsy shop and on my website it's 30 percent off everything now it starts today and we also have our monthly giveaway if you want to know how to enter the giveaway check the link in the description now let's get started so reasonably arbitrarily then uh we're going to start down here next to the uh the pier wall and see if we can see anything. Now, will we have any luck? There's Is it planet. actually going to be any better than the other side? Or, uh, or are we wasting our time here? Now, the coal's <laughs> just, uh, you might have, might have just heard the coal there. Yeah. Um, she's just seen this wee bit. I'm going to say, let's grab it, okay? Because right at the moment, um, uh, you might have saw during an introduction, it is absolutely hammering down with rain here. Uh, it's just stopped. So I'm hoping, beyond all real hope really, uh, that we will get a chance to collect wee gems like this. Well, I don't know if that's a gem. What do you think? Is that a gem? Well, maybe, well, it looks actually, it looks quite modern. It is a bottleneck, so, uh, and I've just found this brown bit. So maybe, maybe we'll just take these two pieces um, and see what else we can find. Yeah, let's get on. As I say, uh, we're racing against the rain. <laughs> now, anyone who loves shells, I uh, was probably getting quite excited about the, the site in front of you just now or at least, you know, that's really lovely there's so many beautiful wee shells here but we're not collecting shells uh, what we're doing instead is we're looking for sea glass you know what, I think this arbitrary uh, place that we've decided to start off on is maybe, maybe not going to deliver hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing very much uh, sea glass there are, like you say, lots of really lovely shells there and uh, I was tempted to collect shells. Oh, there's some sea glass. Yeah, <laughs> spotted laterally there by Nicole. It's quite a thick piece, that piece. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, and I don't know, I, my, my guess is that that's clear glass, and that uh, what we can see there is just uh, mank. You can see the traces of a wee bit of a letter or something that was on there at one point. Yeah, it either could be, yeah, like you say, like the top of a letter, or it could be the kind of teaspoon marks that you get, but I'm thinking it's maybe part of a, the letter, but yeah, it does. It does have an odd colour, it's almost kind of greenish. Let's take that. Yeah, let's have that. Now, we're going to have to speed up our descriptions today, folks. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we're going to end up possibly underwater. Either from the uh, <laughs> from the tide coming in. <laughs> is that glass? Oh, is it? Oh, it looks it's like a not... bit of plastic, possibly. Oh, I think it is plastic, yeah. All right. Oh, well. we'll take that anyway, because yeah. it's... It's rubbish and we don't want it on the beach. Yeah. Now, there's another piece of uh, bottle bottom there. Yeah. Uh, so the bottom, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and as Nicole's just pointed out, there's a wee bit brown there as well. Yeah. So as I say, let's just scoop I'll this all this up one. and we'll see if we can make a mountain of uh, <laughs> sea glass by the time we get done. <laughs> oh, there's an ice cream spoon. I'm there is an ice cream that. spoon. Now, before we go and look at the ice cream uh -huh. spoon, as exciting as it is <laughs> to find plastic on the beach, folks, um, yeah. there's a little bottom. I suspect that's a glass. Oh, it's the, the bottom of a glass that has been hurled over here uh, from one of the neighbouring uh, hostels, uh, aka pubs. Yeah. So what do you think? It looks like it's almost a labyrinth, lavendering a little bit. Is it? Well, I don't know. That's but wishful thinking, I yeah, think. Yeah, maybe. It's it's quite modern. I think we'll leave that one here, turn it over so nobody steps in it for yeah. the next tide. Yeah, lots of dogs walking down on this part of the beach. Uh, so anything that we see that's sharp, we'll, go, we'll try and take that off as well. Now that looks like another wee bit of bottleneck there and it's a lot prettier than the other one because it's so well frosted. Oh what yeah. What do you reckon? Oops, it really does, yeah. And it's uh, it's also very thick now. It looks kind of like it might be either a light sea foam or a clear piece. So yeah, we'll take that and uh, I'm still waiting for some sea foam. <laughs> yeah, okay, grab that. Whilst you can still hear us, uh, there's a train passing overhead. Uh, anybody who's been to South Queen's Ferry before will know that we're in the location of this magnificent Victorian structure, uh, the fourth rail bridge here. Now, what we're chasing against here are these clouds, which may be carrying some rain for us. They actually look not bad. Uh, but the more urgent thing at the moment is, is this. The tide is coming in, folks. <laughs> so, uh, we better get a move on then. 
I think what we want to do is we want to move up the beach just a little bit here um because we're not having a huge amount of luck oh yeah yeah, yeah sorry yeah. my, my yeah, ice cream spoon my nicole's uh, spoon. magical find here yeah yeah the wee plastic uh, yeah, ice yeah. cream spoon well they're always really nice and the beach plastic art we make so i'm taking that one <laughs> yeah oh wow check it out the sun <laughs> have we got a rainbow maybe we well, maybe got a rainbow somewhere. There's certainly been <laughs> enough rain for a rainbow. Yeah. But that's a sight for sore eyes, I'll tell you something. Ah. Well, actually, I don't know if you can see this on the camera just now, but besides the fact that the sun is out, you can see that there's a tiny, tiny spit of rain in there as well. You know, this is typical of Scotland. We can have uh, all the seasons happening pretty much at the same time. Or if not, maybe separated by an hour or so. Now, now when I was walking down to see you here, mm -hmm. um, Ah, yeah, yeah. I saw a bunch of sea glass. Now, Nicole and I have just seen this piece at the same time. Beautiful wee piece of sea from there. Yeah. So we've got to have that. Lovely wee drop shape. Perfect mermaids, dear. And I think we're in the butter zone here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the prettiest piece of sea glass. Um, but it is a piece of sea glass. And do you know what? Mm -hmm. It's going to help us make a mountain. Ooh, so let's grab that. Okay. <laughs> It's a really nice piece of pottery. Yes, that's what I saw. But it then attracted me to these three pieces of sea glass. So oh. maybe we just swoop them up. Yeah. Uh, we'll put them in the pile at the end. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll take a closer look at that piece of pottery then. Because yeah. that is beautiful. It's really nice. It has a really like... floral design mm. or like a new tree or something, eh? Yeah, there is a kind of, I think it's by Minton and it's a seaweed design. So it might be part of that one. It's that really That would be delicate. perfect for today. Yeah. You know, we're surrounded seaweed. by seaweed. Yeah. Just, you know, for, for point of effect. A little wee bit of seaweed there. That very much looks like it, yeah. Now, do you know, whilst we're here, and before we grab that, let's have a look Ooh. at what's sitting around beside it. Now, oh, I thought that was a wee, uh, a mark in the, uh, in ah, the bottle. But I don't know if that, that, one. that might be part of like a, like a swing top stopper. Now, there's a couple of things, uh, just, Okay. Nicole's just grabbing them just now. We'll pop them down beside it. Yeah. No, I think that's that's not yellow glass, is no, it? No, I think that's probably plastic, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it has that kind of sheen, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, when, it? You, it when you touch it, it feels different. It's kind of more smooth than sea glass. And it's Nothing. lighter as well. So, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. This looks like uh, where the swing top stopper would have, uh, would have kind of grabbed onto the bottle. Yeah, but I, I suspect that's not what was on there. Mm. It's very, um, if it was a swing top stopper, it would be straddling quite a long, <laughs> uh, long distance, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Well, I th I'm really happy with this piece here. And Star I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yep. Let's take that bit. And uh, let's take these bits. And of course, the plastic. Yeah, got to take the plastic off. <laughs> Right, now, now I think in this area that I'm just looking at just now where you can see all the ski, uh, that stretches all the length of this uh, part of the beach here. So what I think we should do is start off at one end mm -hmm. and just walk along there and see how much sea glass we can find. We're not going to be prejudicial, we're just going to take uh, everything that we find just now and then when we come to the end of this, uh, we shall uh, pile it up and take our picks of the choice finds. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a really good idea and we could start on the right hand side here and work our way back. Yeah, in keeping with our last uh, starting point we're going to get up to the wall <laughs> yeah. and all the seaweed and uh, it's here. Now, oh, what the coast is spot that that's a really nice piece as well. Yeah. Nice wee bit of sea foam. Well that that was that alongside with that other piece of sea foam that might be a pair of earrings. Who knows? What's that? That's oh. an odd shape. Oh right, yeah, what is that? It does look a bit, little bit odd. Uh, almost a bit round. I think it's just a smithereen of a bottle bottom, possibly. Just a smashed bit that's been maybe smoothed yeah, off over time. That's why it has that funny shape. Okay, we'll take these two, but you said you saw something else. Yeah, there's a piece of uh, what looks like a stone with a bottle and oh. maybe a piece of jar as well. Right. What do you think? Will there be anything on the other side of that? Oh, let's see. No. No, it's just plain. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's, uh, yeah, so that's a ginger beer bottle. Oh, well, I guess that's two ginger beer bottles, possibly. And maybe one uh, one ink bottle. Uh, but we're just looking for sea glass, aren't we? Now, Nicole's going to say in this about uh, um, marbles, clay marbles, oh. that you can see the different shades 
um, depending on where these things were made or how they were fired I guess as well I don't know a huge amount okay. about how these were made <laughs> but uh, yeah they're, they're clearly different shades of uh, clay there yeah. now glad that we sat down here because we are looking for sea glass uh -huh. and there's another really lovely wee bit of uh, sea foam there okay now there's another wee shard here and another wee bit there as well ah yeah see it's always the thing if you sit down really close to the ground you tend to see more pieces of sea glass okay let's swoop it up oh. we can just grab that and get it out of the way yeah the beach for these wee doggies yeah. we don't want doggies getting sore feet do we <laughs> no now, that looks old Oh, you know, I didn't even realise that was a piece of uh, sea glass. It's a bit of a brown glass. It's actually quite nicely frosted. You see how the colour differs there. Here it's wet on this side and it's kind of almost dry on this side. So, yeah, let's take this bit and I'm also going to show you. I just tried this piece here. Oh, that's a nice bit. Yeah. That's much nicer than the big brown. <laughs> the brown bit is just far yeah. too huge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think this one is a really nice quality uh, sea foam piece and uh, that's probably probably going to be a pendant. Some of the best sea glass in the country folks, we're finding it here. <laughs> <laughs> now you know it's not as easy to find the sea glass on this part of the beach as it was on the other, uh, the other side. Uh, um, we're not finding quite as much. Mm -hmm. We're only really just started. Yeah, I uh, think it's probably because this is much more accessible. So a lot more people might be coming down here. And uh now there's something that Nicole oh. was just standing there. I was trying to point to it, that's why Nicole's going. Oh uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see it. <laughs> didn't see it because you were standing on it. Uh -huh. There's that bit there. Is it, is it it is glass, yeah, yeah, oh, and it's yeah, green it's as well. Green. It oh, looks yeah. brown, yeah, yeah, uh, but it's actually green. I'm not sure if you can see the color of that there. Yeah, it's a bit of pirate glass, really. A wee yeah. bit thin, yeah, for what we would typically call pirate glass, but yeah, mm -hmm. let's grab that then. Okay, nothing left behind to do. But, but my clear piece, my clear piece, you want to take the clear piece, yeah, because okay. it has markings on it. You grab see, it has that. Little, little lines on it. I, think. I can't see them. Oh. Like, is that just uh, muck on the other side that oh, you're looking actually. at there? Yeah, I don't know. What am I seeing? I think it's just uh, just sand. Can you see what Nicole <laughs> sees? Me. I can. There's a wee gem just down there though. That noise incidentally is a, a train passing overhead <laughs> on that wonderful Victorian structure. <laughs> I love that bridge. <laughs> Right. Okay. There's another bit that's just as nicely frosted there, and then another oh, bit just up there as well. Yeah, there's quite a few. Look, there's a tiny bit here. Okay, so there's this bit here, there's this bit here, uh, there's a bit here. Okay, let's take that. You know, we should try and take advantage of the sun, and here we are walking into the shadows of the bridge. <laughs> The sand showed up here. My suspicion is that if we were taking a trial and dig through this sand, we would find something because it really has showed up in a wee hill. So now, is that glass I see before me? What is that? It does look like a very large bottle of water. Now that's probably one of the older pieces and biggest pieces we've found so far. Um, it looks like a glass, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's very been. thick. Yeah, it is. It's way heavier than I thought it was going to be. Do you know, I think that might be an old pint tumbler. Oh, right. Well, it's actually squared though, isn't it? That's a straight edge on that side. Mm. Is it? No, it's like octagonal, I think. Uh, if, you, if you look here, it has a, a line here, here and here. It kind of reminds me of an Ikea glass. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope it's not that then. Okay. Uh, now, let's get in around the bottom of this uh, 
oh, incredible look. structure. There are a few yeah. pieces along here, and along this line here, the tide line. That's so you, you can't there. see where Nicole's pointing there, folks. Oh. But basically, um, Nicole's just pointing along this this wee line of scree here, yeah. and there's a few nice pieces. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to take a couple of minutes uh, just to walk along here, and I think the first piece is probably that beautiful, beautiful green piece there. Yeah. And by Greenpeace, folks, <laughs> Let I'm me not guess. referring to the, the political organisation. No. I actually mean a piece of green glass. Okay, let's let's take that along then and see what's on the other side of this little piece of pottery. Mm -hmm. Anything? Oh, oh no, nothing. it's a plain It's still quite piece. nice though. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, there's actually, I think this is, uh, there's some excellent sea glass here. Oh, yeah. Three bottleneck piece. Mm -hmm. It's a tiny wee piece of bottleneck. Yeah. It's sea foam, quite light sea foam. Got a nice curvature to it. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, there's a very large piece. There's a couple of pieces here. I'm going to ask Nicole just to come a wee bit behind me yeah. so that we get some sunlight on the glass oh. as well. Uh, okay, so what do you reckon that is? Ooh, difficult to see. Maybe a milk bottle? Uh, do you think? I there's think... lots of ridges on that yeah. there. Look at that. Mm. I'm going to say milk bottle. <laughs> I'm going to say it's not, <laughs> just for the sake of it. I don't think that's a milk bottle. I've never oh. seen a milk bottle like that. Oh. Really thick, chunky piece of sea glass there. Mm -hmm. There's a much smaller piece, very thin and fine there. Mm. Uh, this piece is sharp, so we're going to remove it, but we can't do anything with it. I found a beautiful shell. That is a very pretty <laughs> wee shell. Yeah. Seems it's just one, maybe you can have that then. Yeah, taking this, and of course the glass. And I see there are a few more other pieces here. There are, there are quite a few, so let's just get along and we shall pick them up. There's one here, 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 here. So many. Don't forget the brown piece. No, no. Is that, is that, yeah, that's, that's stone, stone, isn't it? Yeah. In the space of five seconds. Very nice. And there's much more as well. See, yeah. That piece, I think, I don't know if you want to take that piece. It's very shiny. This piece? Yeah. Oh, well, it's very wet and sometimes you can't actually see if it's still shiny. It's thick. It is, so, so it's uh, old. Yeah. So that might come up nice. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll never really know at the beach. Now, there is um, that piece just in front of that. Yeah. Which is almost the perfect pendant shape, isn't it? Mm, yeah, that's really nice. You could drill it right at the top here and then it would be a really nice drop. So, so I think we should have that. Absolutely, yeah, let's take that. Now, lest we forget that oh. we all need a wee bit of a wish. Is this a wishing stone though? Is it's, it? Oh, it's no, you know, it's no, oh, it doesn't it come around the wish? other side. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a false no. wish, folks, false yeah, wish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not taking that. We can't be having false wishes. Okay. Unlucky. Okay. <laughs> So I think we've almost come to the end of that wee bit, but what I can see just right ahead in front of me is a really, really, really um, strong colour um, of green there. Can you see that? Yeah, but yeah. But what I can also see right in front of all that is a ton more glass. Yeah. It's just all over here. Now there's a piece with some writing on it there. Oh. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, we'll call this uh, base camp and uh, <laughs> we'll start piling that stuff up and putting it beside the green stuff. Well, I say green stuff, it's one green bit. Now, there's a wee bit of brown there. A wee bit of clear. Nicole's getting all the nice bits there. There's some beautiful pieces just in front. Yeah, oh, this one might be a bit lavendery. Uh, blue, no, it's not. A bit of sea foam. Oh, let's see what's in that bit. Okay, I think it says D, D, O, D, C, maybe. DC for fans DC. of comics. <laughs> Comic glass. Okay, um, right, there's a bit over here. I think that's what I can find. Oh no, no, there's a few more pieces over here. Don't really see those. There we go. There's a wee heart as well. Always got to get a wee heart at the beach. Yep, and this. So, oh, there's a bit of sea foam. It's never ending, isn't it? <laughs> it's never no. ending. No, look, once you once you start looking. It's like Pringles. <laughs> once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> <That's another Seaglass. wee. laughs> Pringles sea glass. Yeah, don't try and eat it. Yeah. Anyway, let's yeah. grab that stuff up and then we'll have a look because I can see something just up ahead of us. And it is a beautiful, beautiful blue colour. Now the real question is, okay. is it glass? Is it plastic? 
Or is it something completely uninteresting? Ooh. I'm going to go see whilst Nicole gathers those wee bits. Now, the real question here, can you see the piece that I'm looking at? It's not cobalt blue, much more a sea foam blue. You know, before I get that piece, I have to grab this because this is a wee lavender piece here. And we can see the contrast there between this piece, which is lavender, and this piece, oh, uh, which, which is clear. Now, I hope you can see that. Yeah, if I can see it on the camera, then I'm pretty sure you can see it as well. <laughs> Lovely wee piece of lavender. Um, and if anybody's wondering what the lavender uh, tells us about the glass, you should check out our uh, video. I'm going to have to shout, folks. You're going to have to check out our video on the subject of Mary Somerville. I think that's where we did the lavender yeah, glasses. Yeah, yeah, the manganese special. There's some beautiful pictures of uh, houses in Boston that have uh, purple glass now in the windows. Yeah, that's the thing because you leave it long enough and we seldom get it long enough in the sun in <laughs> Scotland uh, then it does turn a beautiful, beautiful purple. Nice wee bit there. Thank you. No, no. Oh, Where is it going? There it is. There. Yeah. Is that what you, you saw? See it just there. Oh, really lovely. Yeah, that's really a nice colour. Do you know it's a bottleneck again? Is it? It looks like it to me. Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, you've got an eye for bottlenecks, don't you? Can't hide a bottleneck to me. <laughs> I see a bottleneck, I'm on it. <laughs> if there's a bottleneck here, I'm on it. <laughs> now, we didn't get a very close look at that, but we'll take a wee look at it in a minute. Um, a couple of other wee bits there, and there's that milk glass. Oh, um, I think it's pottery, isn't it? I think it's pottery. Milk glass tends to uh, develop a slightly different shape when it's broken. And pottery, this one is slightly sharp, looks like the edge of a plate, maybe. Let's have this wee trail here. There's a wee okay, trail yeah. of, uh, of beauties. Yeah, various, t uh, various frostings on these. You can see this one to the left there. That looks like, a, whoops, like it was dropped yesterday. Um, and uh, this one is a lot older, it's kind of sea foam, so that one is maybe a hundred years old and this one, well, it might just be from yesterday. Yeah, but you know what, there's a huge crack in this one as well, I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh. Uh, turning it around doesn't really help actually. Oh yeah, no, no, I can see the line going down there. Well, we're going to take it just mm -hmm. now anyway. Um, now, I've seen another, another really sort of like kind of nice sea foam, chunky bit there, can you see that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's sticking out. That so, colour. So. <laughs> There's that beautiful piece of sea foam, a wee piece of uh, clear glass that I'm just throwing in there. And that, now that, oh... It's a crackle glass. I don't know. It's, ah. now I'm not sure if that is, uh, I, I think it's all broken and shattered. Does oh, that make okay. it crackle glass? Yeah, I think so. Uh, there, there's a difference between crackle glass and bonfire glass. I think some people make crackle glass by putting glass into, uh, into the oven. Right. Uh, now this one does have a very, oh, I'm not sure if you can actually see it, it does have a very kind of crackly texture. It does indeed, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I thought it was safety glass or um, mm -hmm. privacy glass or something like that when yeah. I first picked it up. But, but it's not molten like bonfire glass. No. So that's cool, that's a nice find. I'll take these three pieces then. Well, I think we're going to have to come back another day and look on the other side of the PSC if it's as good as we remember it. But for now though, let's take a look at what we found here and how much we were able to find. Oh, my spoon. Some excellent sea glass in there, and I think there's plenty of pieces uh, that might be used uh, for some jewellery. Yeah, I think there are definitely a couple of pieces here that we can use uh, maybe for a pair of earrings and a pendant. Uh, there are a few pieces that are probably um, uh, not very frosted and we are only going to take what uh, we think is frosted and we will leave the rest here. So I'll hold the camera here for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and Nicole's going to pick through this and take the pieces that um, that we're going to take home with us and the rest of it will maybe just leave here. What do you think? Yeah. Is that an idea? Yeah, as a wee gift for a mermaid. So if somebody comes here today then they'll find a wee pile of sea cast. Yeah. So this is what Nicole's leaving behind. If you're in the area, if you fancy a bit of sea glass, <laughs> uh, you're probably about a week late to get this. But with any luck, somebody's come along and picked it up today. I think we had a really fantastic day here today. Although, if we'd gotten here five minutes later, we wouldn't have gotten soap. But we found some fantastic glass. Now, it only remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute to subscribe. An extra special thanks goes out to everybody who's been supporting the channel through Etsy and through Kofi. That really makes a massive difference and it keeps the lights on. But before I go, remember, we've got a massive sale on on our Etsy shop and on my website. And there is a monthly giveaway on Kofi. Now, See you next time.